Hello, David F. Sandberg here. I hope your uh, submissions to the My Animal Creation Contest are coming along. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I think is one of the big mistakes that a lot of filmmakers make when they make shorts, and that is that they don't keep it short. And I'm not just talking about the runtime, but just the ideas as well, because a lot of times filmmakers have these big feature film ideas with a big world and big mythology and backstory and characters and you know when they have a, a time limit for a short they just try to force it all in there and there's like no room to breathe and when you have to make a short that's just like two minutes I think you need to think of it more of more as a scene or a couple of scenes uh, and I think that's one of the you know advantages of, of shorts is that they can be more open-ended you know because when you make a feature you have to you know, tie up all the loose ends, you have to have your characters change throughout the journey, and there's a lot of little check boxes to tick off. But when you make shorts, uh, the audience is more accepting of, of loose ends. And in fact, I've been told by a lot of people that they think the Lights Out short is scarier than the Lights Out feature, which is understandable because in the short, you don't find out who this monster is or, or what it wants and the unknown is always scarier so you know with a with a limit of just two minutes try not to have a lot of mythology and backstory like you know yeah 300 years ago this guy was killed and now he's coming back every century and you know today is the anniversary so no just go straight into the creepiness you know I mean that that's a good advice to always come into your story as late as possible. I can lights out, you know, we have Lotta just go straight for the light switch and boom, we're in scariness, you know. Um, and that's true for every scene even, to come in as late as possible to every scene. And, you know, looking at some of these shorts I've seen online, you know, the lights out version of that would be you know, you'd see Lotta come home from work at night, you see her put on her pajamas, and she would get a phone call from her friend, and she'd be like, yeah, I'm, you know, my husband's away, so I'm all alone tonight, and all these things that you don't need, you just come into it as late as possible, like in our short, Not So Fast, we're in the basement, light goes out, boom, you know, and if you're used to feature film storytelling, or if you've you know, read books about screenwriting, you may think that, well, you know, I need to set up my characters and really introduce them. And, and, you know, my protagonist needs to save some sort of feline creature to have the audience be sympathetic. But no, I don't think so. I mean, because if you have a bunch of terrible shit happening to a person on screen, you will automatically root for that person to like, get out and not have terrible shit happening to him or her. And if the source of the terrible shit is a person, you will automatically go, well, that's the bad guy. I don't like him. So, you know, your, your characters will show who they are by what they do. And, you know, sometimes you don't even need to have any words. In fact, you can have a character on screen say one thing but do another thing and the audience will pay attention to what the character does they that you know actions always speak louder than words in addition to coming into each scene as late as possible i think it's also important to always think about okay what's the minimum we need to go from a to b so like in lights out you know how do we go from lotta just having seen a ghost to Lotta taping the light switch. And I mean, the way we do it is we just cut to her peeling off a piece of tape and there you go. Like, you know, in a lot of shorts, you'd probably follow her out into the kitchen and you'd see, you know, a shot of a drawer being open and there's the tape and a hand comes in and grabs the tape and you don't need those things, you know. Um, just keep it as short as possible, except for when you're in, for example, a moment of tension. And then you want to drag it out and keep it, keep the tension going. So 
there are exceptions, of course. But I mean, if you're just trying to get information across or something like that, just cut it down to the minimum you can. And uh, yeah, good luck. Thank you.